This is Tesla's 2023 Investor Day, an event made for investors and shareholders, but was live streamed for the world to see. It was the right platform for them to announce how they're on the verge of building better and faster cars, something that Toyota and Ford should take note of. In this video, we explore how Tesla's groundbreaking methods and technological advancements will build better cars. Be sure to stick around to the end, because we'll also reveal the beta production of everybody's favorite car. Let's get started. The history of production lines started all the way back to Henry Ford, who had a dream to revolutionize the manufacturing industry and change the way automobiles were built. He knew that the current way of assembling cars was not efficient and needed a change. It was then that he had a moment of inspiration that would change the world forever. While observing the meatpacking industry, Henry noticed how the meat was transported on a conveyor belt, which saved time and labor. He realized that this same concept could also be applied to automobile production. Instead of workers moving around the car, the car could be moved along the assembly line, and the workers could stay in one place. Henry and his team of engineers began experimenting with different designs and processes to create the perfect assembly line. After much trial and error, they finally developed a moving assembly line that could build a car from start to finish in just 90 minutes. The new process was a game changer. It allowed for increased efficiency, reduced labor costs, and mass production. Instead of one worker doing multiple tasks on the car, each worker had a specific task that they would perform repeatedly. This specialization of labor increased productivity and reduced errors. The assembly line consisted of a moving chain mechanism that pulled the car along the line, and workers would perform their assigned tasks on the car as it moved past them. The car would then move on to the next worker, who would perform their task, and so on until the car was complete. The new assembly line was a huge success, and it revolutionized the way cars were built. Henry's innovation not only made the manufacturing process more efficient, but also made cars more affordable for the average person. The Model T, which was once a luxury item, became accessible to the masses. At the same time, Toyota was facing fierce competition in the automobile industry. They knew they needed to find a way to increase efficiency, reduce costs, and improve quality to stay competitive. That's when they began developing their just-in-time inventory control system, which is also what they use today. Toyota's JIT system was based on the principle of making only what is needed when it's needed and in the quantity needed. They focused on consistent quality, even production flow, and streamlined parts handling. The goal was to have the production line stocked with all the right parts, so there were no interruptions or slowdowns in the production process. To achieve this, Toyota had to completely restructure its manufacturing process. They sent off orders to purchase production parts only when they received new orders from customers. The Kanban system was central to the just-in-time process. It provided an automatic, real-time method to replenish parts at the line side and keep minimal stock. At first, the implementation of the JIT system was a difficult and slow process. It took Toyota more than 15 years to perfect its process. They had to carefully analyze every step of their production process and make adjustments to ensure that everything was working as efficiently as possible. But their hard work paid off. The JIT system allowed Toyota to reduce the space needed for storage, order smaller quantities of stock, and eliminate waste. With the JIT system, Toyota was able to maintain a steady production rate with high quality workmanship and no machine breakdowns at the plant that could stall production. The success of Toyota's JIT system was not lost on other automobile manufacturers, including Ford. Ford began implementing their version of the JIT system, known as the Lean Production System. This system focused on eliminating waste and improving efficiency throughout the production process. Like Toyota, Ford realized that the key to success with JIT was maintaining a steady production rate with high quality workmanship and no machine breakdowns. They began to analyze every step of their production process, looking for ways to eliminate waste and improve efficiency. Today, both Toyota and Ford continue to use their JIT systems to great effect. They've streamlined their production processes, reduced waste, and improved efficiency, all while maintaining a high level of quality. However, while JIT inventory management offers many benefits to companies, some significant drawbacks should be considered. One major disadvantage of JIT manufacturing is the risk of running out of stock. With JIT, companies rely on demand forecasts to dictate their inventory levels, which can lead to a situation where there is not enough stock on hand to meet consumer needs. This can be particularly problematic if demand suddenly spikes, 
leaving the company unable to fulfill orders on time. Another potential issue with JIT is the dependence on suppliers. With JIT, companies rely on their suppliers to deliver materials and components precisely when they're needed. This can be problematic if a supplier experiences delays or disruptions in the production process, which could lead to delays in the company's production line. Finally, JIT requires a significant amount of planning and attention to detail. Companies must carefully monitor sales trends and plan their inventory levels accordingly, which can be time-consuming and resource-intensive. Additionally, companies must ensure that their suppliers are capable of meeting their requirements, which can be challenging if the company is working with similar suppliers across different regions. These drawbacks can be significant, as evidenced by the 1997 fire incident. Toyota experienced a major setback when a fire at a brake parts plant owned by one of its suppliers destroyed its capacity to produce a critical P-valve part used in its vehicles. Eisen, the sole supplier of the P-valve part for Toyota, had to shut down production for several weeks. Because of Toyota's JIT inventory levels, it ran out of P-valve parts after just one day. This situation could have been disastrous for Toyota's supply line. But fortunately, one of Eisen's suppliers was able to retool and start manufacturing the necessary P-valves after just two days. Despite this quick response, the fire still had significant consequences for Toyota. It cost the company nearly 16 billion yen in lost revenue in 70,000 cars. The problem also had a trickle-down effect on other suppliers for Toyota, as some were forced to shut down because the auto manufacturer didn't need their parts to complete any cars on the assembly line. Tesla itself had been on the same assembly line, but to cope with the ever-growing demand of Teslas, Elon Musk took the stage with a bunch of company executives and shocked the world with some big announcement. At Tesla Investor Day, Tesla slashed the prices for its popular Model 3 and Model Y by as much as 20% which seemed to attract more customers. Then, they decided to spice things up by incorporating automation in their production line, starting with the Tesla Model 3. This sleek machine was assembled by a specialized machine designed just for the job. It sounded like a great idea at the time, but unfortunately, it led them straight into production hell. What happened, you asked? Well, as it turns out, the Model 3 was originally designed to be assembled manually. So they quickly realized that they had made a costly mistake by switching to the machine. The new process wasn't as efficient as they had hoped, and it caused a backlog in production. So now they came up with a new method on the assembly line. So how does it work? Firstly, the company decided to simplify the design of Model Y, making it easier to assemble. They started by taking smaller pieces of the car, allowing the same number of people and robots to work on a single piece at the same time, which increases operator density by 44%. They also estimate a 30% improvement in space and time efficiency. Then, they produce the sides of the car independently, painting only the necessary parts and attach the interior through the bottom or top of the vehicle, depending on the strategy. And finally, they connect all the parts. The real magic of this method is that the car is assembled only once, saving time and resources. This also leads to a 40% reduction in the future manufacturing footprint, allowing Tesla to build facilities more quickly and with higher output per unit. They estimate that the cost of the process will be halved. By prioritizing production over design, Tesla's new assembly line is a game changer for the automotive industry. Not only does it improve efficiency, but it also benefits the planet, which is of fundamental importance to Tesla. It's a win-win situation, and since you waited this long, this is the internal look of the much-awaited Cybertruck. They only discussed the externals at the main event, and after that, Cybertruck photos were all over the internet. According to the Cybertruck Insider, Matthew Donegan, the air suspension on the Cybertruck is the biggest he's ever seen. So now comes the golden question. Will Toyota and Ford be able to cope with Tesla's new Master Plan 3? Or will it continue to be just in time? Let us know in the comments section below. And thanks for watching.